face, but it is. <clears throat> this is somewhat of a response video. I just did like a couple videos, but <laughs> I kind of rambled on them all, so I'm gonna just keep it kind of short and sweet, I suppose, on this one, you know what I'm saying? And I put the other ones up too for the hell of it, because, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> check this out, check this out. Y'all see this shit? All right. First off, my handwriting is horrible. <laughs> Feel free to talk about it. I do not care, okay? I, <laughs> I had this shit sit out. Okay, if you pause it and read what I said, if you can understand it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I had this shit sitting on the desk, right? And, you know, one of my co-workers walk up. You know, we in the warehouse, and I ain't gonna stun like I'm at a desk type of shit. Um, one of my co-workers, he walk up. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? He just, you know what I'm saying? What's up, bro? You know, what you got going? Blah, blah, blah. He put his head down, look at the paper. He say, What's this? <laughs> I was like, Oh, you know what I'm saying? It was a brother on YouTube responding to a couple of my questions, a couple of my some things I said on the video. I'm responding to a couple of things he said. He say, Oh. <laughs> and then, you know, I was assuming he was, you know, look away and, you know, gone. But he kept on reading. <laughs> And I could tell when by the time he got down to that one that said aliens against humanity, <laughs> and nigga eyebrows went up. <laughs> man, that shit was hilarious. Man, that, that, that shit was hilarious. Like I was sitting there thinking, just imagining this shit that's going on in his head. He like, what the fuck is this nigga on? It's a Mexican cat, bro. And he cool motherfucker too. And you know what I'm saying? He know I be reading this shit. I, I always got a book or some shit, reading on lunch or whatever. So. You know, I'm like, you know, you know, I be reading this what I be doing, whatever. He's like, oh, all right. <laughs> so anyway, man, the main thing I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, clarify with the brother was Michael Cremor. The reason why I referred him to Michael Cremor was so you could throw away everything pretty much that they told you about history. You know, him, I mean, he was he's an archaeologist. Well, him and uh, Michael, it's Michael Cremor and Richard, Richard Thompson. They, one of them is an archaeologist. So, you know, he actually went and dug these bones up. And they've dated shit billions of years old. Man, not bones, but metal objects with writings on them. Metal that ain't even, they, they, they can't identify, you see. So, I, I was referring you to him so you can understand that we as a people, you know, have been on this planet for billions of years. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but, you know, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? And um, white people, and I always throw quotes on the white because, you know, you know what I'm saying? If we black and they white, then they're pure and we dead. You know what I mean? So, whatever. You know what I mean? The Europeans, they'll tell you that they only, you know, six to seven thousand years old. You know, they, they say that. You know? That's why they said the Bible was 6,000 years old. And that's why they say the pyramids are three or 4,000 years old. All that stuff is much older than that. Okay, well, the, the, you know, the text from the Bible is older than that. The Bible as we know it today isn't as old. But, you know, the text in which they are derived is from Egypt, which is much older. And so, that was the reason for you, you know what I'm saying, for me to, you know, put that out there to you. Now, you know, I gotta look back down a minute. So where we come from, you know, Based on all the research I've, I've read, or whatever, you know what I'm saying, everyone pretty much refers to the Dogons who say, we from Ceres. Now, why would you say, why are the Dogons out of all the tribes in all the world, or whatever? Well, the Dogon, it's a book, uh, I don't know it because I haven't read it, you know what I mean? But, I've heard about it. <laughs> and the Dogon, and, and in the book, the Dogon basically mapped the stars out you know, thousands and thousands of years ago. But they gave it to the white boy. They gave it to, you know what I'm saying, a um a European. And the European later, you know, they later discovered all this shit with their telescopes and all this. And this the whole how did they know and all that old bullshit. They try to act like, you know, Egypt was stupid and, you know, they guessed and blah blah blah. So, yes, every you know and, you know, they they had this they had the skies mapped out. Everything, all their astrophysics is based on Dogon science, all of it. So the Dogon said, you know, they were from Sirius. They were black people. 
Alright, so that's what that is. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's where I get it from. Now the white the you know so called white man he'll tell you that he's from Earth. He evolved from the ape, and that was my point in the man mankind. You know, uh, video we different. You know what I mean? And it's right in our face with these words, man, human, mankind. You know what I mean? So that is my overall point that we are genetically different, you know what I'm saying? And it's not to put nobody down, it's just to say what it is. We need to be operating on truth, you know? I'm speaking the truth, so fuck your feelings, you know what I'm saying? And that go for any person watching my video. White, black, red, blue, you dig? Don't care, you look it up, it'll tell you. Everybody has the genet has one to four percent um, Neanderthal, some even higher. Um, <clears throat> so, except the, except the African, except the African, you know, you you're American, you a slave, you came over from Africa on a boat, so you're African. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have it. Why don't you have it? Because you were not created here. Now let's talk about the creation. Let's talk about the creation because this ain't this isn't accepted in our community, even though it's been proven. You see what I'm saying? Go. Okay, and this is to the brother, the brother named the Chosen Few. And if it wasn't for that brother, I might not be where I'm at right now. You know what I mean? Squad Business, a couple years ago, watching one of his videos, he inspired me to do more research. You know what I'm saying? So, peace to that brother for real. Um, but um, I, you know, I would, I would, I would advise you, or you know, look into the Sumerian uh, mythology. And, and listen to it. Let a let a white guy tell you about it. You understand what I'm saying? I I, I let a a, a, a so-called white guy a professor explain it to me you, via YouTube. Understand? I'm not going to no goddamn lectures. You know, YouTube, nigga, the shit's easy and free. So I let them explain it to me, and they and this is where I first heard it. You know what I mean? They know in their genes they have the same as the Neanderthal, but. It's an A and a B or some shit. You can look it up. It's just out there that's fused together. Now, this is very important because this is not natural. This does not happen. You understand what I'm saying? This had to, this had, someone had to have done this. Okay? And so they will admit that they were made from the aliens. They call the Anunnaki. So just look into the Sumerian story and then do the, do the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And understand. And, Understand, it's a snake in every, damn near every mythology, okay? It's a snake, refers to a, a serpent. Just like, just think in the Bible, who, uh, you know, tricked Eve, what have you. So, Anu Naga, Anu, Anu Naki is Anu Naga. Naga is the snake. Naga, nigga, you nigga, alright? So, and Anu is, is uh, you know, the most high. You know, it's Anu, Anubis, you know. Of the Lord of the Underworld or what have you, so Anu or uh, Nubian, a Nubian. Okay, so and An Anaki, that's you, nigga. They telling you that you made them. What, man? So if you, okay, let's look at this logically, people. White, okay. White people have cloned the sheep, right? Okay, so you think that you created these people? I mean, even if you didn't think that you created them the way you the way our ancestors created them if you just want to believe they came out of you naturally you think they evolved past you in the sciences like and you and i just told you and you can prove it to yourself you've been on this motherfucking planet for millions of years you don't think you would have mastered cloning i mean the, the white man was in a in caves man a thousand years ago a thousand years later, this nigga didn't build skyscrapers, got cities, and he runs the world. I mean, I think that's pretty fucking amazing. You know what I'm saying? So, you don't think in a million years, nigga, you could have figured out cloning? You see what I'm saying? You know, we gotta look at shit logically, baby. We gotta look at it logically, man. So, we different out here. So, you know, when you speak on the origins of mankind, the origins of mankind is earth. When you speak on the origins of man, the black woman, you can say serious. But at the end of the day, who knows? Right? So who cares, man? Deal with the now. I, 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 you know, now, now I'm just speaking my opinion. You know, I, I feel like 
you need to know the history but deal with the now and then a lot of my people we really need to get into the history the immediate history the immediate history is very important i know we think we've been slaver all this time we need to look into it you know it's it's for us uh, or squad business uh and your living history so you know get your get your study on like i like i promote you dig like i like what god promoted to me and that's what i'm doing so peace and love to you take it easy